I don't think it's just me and that legacy media seems to be moving more quickly past mass shootings. The wall-to-wall -wall coverage that we used to see for so long afterwards seems to, well, it's dissipated a little bit. And could that be because the details each time continue to diminish a very carefully constructed narrative? Now, in the wake of the massacre in Jacksonville, Florida last weekend, once again, news started to come out about lax security and gun-free zones. And that was harmful enough to the anti-gun narrative that the NRA and six million innocent law-abiding gun owners were at fault. But then, when it came out, that the firearm was legally purchased in a state that has every single gun control law you could ever hope for if you were an anti-gun advocate, laws that progressives swear stop these sorts of things, well, then the media just went silent after that. Luckily, we have local news outlets who are often the only media that seem to care about journalism anymore. In this case, it's the excellent reporting of WJXT in Jacksonville, and it turns out that Chicago Pizza at Jacksonville Landing, the venue where this video game tournament was held, was shut down after investigators discovered that four emergency exits were blocked inside during the shooting. WJXT reported that city sources say these unaccessible exits were, quote, a big issue for people trying to escape at the time. Additionally, the fire marshal's office says that the plans for the gaming center hadn't been submitted to the city as was required. So it was illegally added on to the back and no one could go and check and make sure people could probably get out. But of course, as I said, you're not gonna see this on cable news. You won't see this on cable news. It's, it's not gonna get any attention because for the anti-gun narrative, it always has to be about the firearm itself. No other factor can possibly influence the outcome, just guns. Never mind that people were unable to escape because of code violations and locked doors. And I don't think that NRA members had anything to do with that. Forget that the shooter was known beforehand to be mentally unstable. Look past all of the gun control measures that didn't prevent him from doing what he did. And certainly don't think for a moment that no one else on the property being permitted to carry a firearm or that there was a lack of security total. No, it's the NRA. It's always law-abiding, innocent gun owners. Well, the facts are inconvenient for their narrative. Good job to local, local media in Florida has been doing a fantastic job. It's why, the, it's why the Broward County School District is suing the Sun Sentinel and WJXT here has done fantastic job, a fantastic job at bringing these latest and much needed developments to light. Kudos to them, that's real reporting.